Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today, x factorial equal to 2 to the x. And let's try to think a little bit about the answer, let's try to find a solution to this interesting problem. So first of all, it's really hard to solve it algebraically, yeah, because we have factorial, this not like we like to solve it with factorial sign on the left hand side, yeah. So if, for example, if we have x, it's it's always uh, complicated, but right here we have factorial, so it more complicated, yeah. So first of all, let's draw two graphs. Let's try to think a little bit about the graphs. First of all, we have x factorial, yeah? So let's draw a graph of this x factorial and let, let's see information about this x factorial. So first of all, we have right here our x, we have our, our x factorial, I write this is our x factorial right here. So let's go. For example, right here we will have 1, so if x is 0, then y equal to 1, yeah? And right here it looks like that. If x is greater than factorial grows, yeah? So right here, right here, because for example, 4 factorial, this is huge number and needs go to plus infinity. This is our x factorial, x factorial graph, yeah? And let's go to the 2 to the x. This is our exponential function. We know the information about this function. This is our exponential function, looks like that, yeah? And let's go to plus infinity, so this is our 2 to the x. So this is our x factorial, this is 2 to the x. And we can easily see that it looks like the same function on the first side and we can easily find our root, yeah? But right now I'm going to show you information about how just this function grows, yeah? How fast this function grows. Because if we draw this thing, so our x, yeah? Right here we'll have our x factorial. And right here we will have like 2 to the x, yeah? And let's try to find information about it. Let's go for example to 6, yeah? So 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's go until 6. Let's find information about this function until 6. So 0 factorial, if, if 0 we will have 1, 2 to the 0 we will have, oh go, let's start with factorials only, yeah? So 1 factorial, 1, 2 factorial, 2, 3 factorial, 6, right here 24, 120, and 620, if we go in with 6, yeah? So this is our x factorial. 2 to the x, what information about it? So 2 to the 0, we will have 1, 1, 2 to the first 2, 2 square 4, 2 cube 8, 2 to the fourth 16, 2 to the fifth 32, and 64, yeah? So why I write it? Because really interesting information, until 8, so right here until this one. So this function is faster, this faster than, than, than x factorial, yeah? So we can easily see it right here because 1, 2 is greater than 1, 4 is greater than 2 and 8 is greater than 6. So right here uh, until x equal to 3, our 2 to the x is faster, yeah? But if we look a little bit further, we can see that 16 is, is less than 20 to 24, 32 is less than 120, so after after x equal to, uh, after x is greater than 3, this is faster than x factorial, but after this step, x factorial is faster. And this is one really interesting moment. Then, when they go from the faster function to not faster function, we can easily see that right here, between 3 and 4, we will have like one root. Because right now I'm going to draw a graph and you understand why this step, so after this step when this function is faster than this is faster, so they're going to intersect. So this is one really interesting moment right here. And right now let's, uh, let's find the really interesting trick right here. So let's rewrite this step. I write it right here, so x, x factorial, and 2 to the x, yeah? So we have like 3, I rewrite this step right here to this one, so 6. Right here we'll have 24, right here we have 8, and right here we have 16, yeah? So they intersect between 3 and 4, as you can see. So this grows faster, and after this step, this grows faster. So right here we'll have point of intersection, and right now I'm going to, to find this point of intersection with this graph, yeah? Right here. And draw a graph. So let's try to combine these two graphs. So we have exponential function. I write this exponential function right here. It goes like until 3, this 2 to the x grows faster. So this looks like our 3. I write this 3 right here. 
this is our 3, but then this factorial function, so and behind this 3 it goes like not fast, but after 3 our factorial function grows much faster, much faster, yeah? After 3 it function grows much faster. It's not exactly value like 3, it looks like right here I write 3 and this is our 4, yeah? So between 3 and 4, between 3 and 4, we'll have this point of intersection. Because as you can see, behind this 3 and 4, it grows not fast, but then after this 3 and 4, it grows much faster. So right here, we'll have one point of, of intersection. Intersection. But one really interesting moment, if you're interested in this question, like a whole number, like integers, so right here we don't have any integer solution because in the point of 3 we have we don't have any equality and in 4 we, we don't have any equality. So right here we don't have any integer solution. But I find this solution for you. This is our x second will be equal to 3.459. Yeah? So I find this solution in internet libraries for you. If you're interested in this, you can easily check this solution. But in our case, we're interested in integer solution. But how can we find this integer solution? If we look closely to this one, we can easily see that if x is great is equal to 0, we will have like the next one. We'll have like 0 factorial equal to 2 to the 0, which is absolutely, absolutely correct, because we have 1 equal to 1. So the first and only solution, if we're talking about integers, if is x is greater than 0, yeah? x is greater than 0 is our integer solution. So I write it as answer. So right here we have like answer. x is equal to 0 is integer. Integer. If you're interested like in all solution, you can easily write right here our second solution. So this point of intersection between 3 and 4 equal to 3.459. And really interesting moment. Let's try to check our imaginary root or hypothetical roots. If we go with limit, for example, x factorial, x approaches to infinity. This limit equal to infinity factorial, which is equal to infinity. Yeah? And if we go with the second uh, on the right hand side, so limit 2 to the x, when x approaches to infinity, we will have like 2 to the power infinity, which is equal to infinity. So on the left hand side, in, in, in this way, we have infinity x factorial, and on the right hand side we have infinity as well. So right here we will have imaginary roots, so imaginary, imaginary roots, or hypothetical roots. So in infinity we have complex roots, infinity, imaginary roots, this is right here. When we have done, we, this line does not intersect, yeah? But if this line intersect, they have only x equal to 0 if we're talking about integers, and in between these two lines we will have like x second equal to 3.459. This is maybe a little bit complicated explanation, but I hope you understand this, maybe you find really interesting notes for you, this is really important. So thank you so much for watching, thank you for your support, for your likes, I really appreciate it, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day!